Helplessly, the Mataga family now watch as their land is being illegally demarcated and developed by suspected patriotic front cadres. The 10 hectare piece of land has been reduced to one hectare, which is currently being occupied by the Mataka family. But security is also compromised as this family has also been threatened with eviction at the hands of the said suspected PF cadres. While this activity is going on, there is a court order issued by Lusaka High Court judge in charge, Jen Kabuka, ordering that these people developing the land should stop as there is such a restraining order. This particular court order evidently shows that it has been availed to a police officer in charge at Matero Police Station who endorsed that an inspector Naomi should deal with this matter. The death stamp placed on this order from Matero Police Station indicates that it was in the hands of a police service on 19 September 2013. But to date, no action from the police has been taken as to prevent those that are developing this land illegally. 72-year-old Joseph Mataka feels depressed that his investment in the Barston Park farm has gone to waste. depression. Mr. Mataka and his family, even the one hectare piece they are currently occupying, does not give them comfort as they have been threatened with eviction. I'm really urging our Honorable President, Michael Sata, and our Minister, that's Mel Sampa. So they must do something to, to this land because it's been months now, but nothing is, is pro progressing. So I'm urging really that should, they should help us in this situation. Already, Panuatu is at Tichoke, Panopanum. Wave a bully put designed a put. Pamela Tat and Divana Gulama. Yeah, I can consider a president tapapat. In Lusaka West, suspected PF cadres who had been illegally demarcating land belonging to Trishu Limited have moved to another private land as their target has been exhausted. <laughs> Just yesterday, Deputy Inspector General of Police, Dr. Solomon Jerry, indicated that police officers would decisively and ruthlessly deal with such people found illegally demarcating or developing private land amid a court order. It is, however, evident that with this court order in place, development and illegal activities on this particular piece of land that is under contention are still ongoing and police officers are not on site to protect this particular land in line with the court order. Mwapekumwenda, Movie TV News, Lusaka.